Welcome to the TPC Desktop Getting Started video series. In the last video, we looked at starting a new survey. In this video, I just want to give you a real quick overview of using the TPC Desktop. So let's take a look at the top at what we call the managers. If I pull down the Manage menu, I see that I can manage tasks, traverses, points, drawings, drawing data, surfaces, point codes. And the managers, as a rule, show up for me on the side of the desktop. Let's just take a look here real quick. So over here on the right side, I see my managers are open, or at least the ones I've opened already. And the thing that we like about the managers is that I can unpin them so that they auto-hide off of the desktop. So I still have all of them available over here. If I want to open up and look at my points, just put the cursor over it my drawings, traverses, task manager, or I can pin them so they stay open on the desktop and I can just click the different tab. So managers allow me to access different parts of the survey uh, from the desktop. Great way to do that, um, and particularly if I've got a notebook computer and maybe limited space, uh, or I'm using more than one monitor. It's great to auto hide those managers and just bring them up when you need them. Then, if we bring down the Windows menu here, we see that Traverse PC has a number of what it calls views. Let's go ahead and open up the drawing view here. And we see that Traverse PC uh, creates a view on the desktop. And just like any Windows view, we can move it around wherever we want. We can have it fill up the entire uh, unused space or just shrink it back down to whatever size will, will fit on the desktop. And uh, really, we're going to take a look at a couple of these uh, views today in this video. And, and we tell you two things about them. One is the power is in the views. The power of Traverse PC is how it uses these views to access your survey data and help you produce your deliverables. And the other thing is, once you learn the views, you know Traverse PC. So we're going to focus in on a couple of these today. I opened up the quick view here, and uh, I want to open up the page setup dialog box. So let's go to print, page setup, and we want a letter or an eight and a half by 11 uh, size drawing here, but let's switch it to landscape. And so we see that Traverse PC has switched that for us to landscape, and we can simply resize that view like we would in Windows. The other thing I want you to know is that uh, as I'm working inside of a drawing, in this case in the drawing view, it's always what you see is what you get. So if I were to do a print preview, I can see that Traverse PC shows me the same uh, information uh, uh, inside whatever border I've, I've placed on the, the drawing here. So if we want to come back out, uh, add a border to this real quick. I see the borders drawn around the outside of the drawing. Now if I go to Print Preview, I see the whole page plus the border. So the great thing about the drawing view then is that I'm always working on a sheet of paper. It's just a really nice, nice way to do it. Now you saw me earlier come over to the Task Manager and simply unpin that and auto hide uh, those managers. What I can do then at this point now is that I can tell Traverse PC that I want to pick up this side of the desktop and drag that over to a second monitor that I have. The great thing about that then is that now I can expand the drawing view to make it as really as large as I, I want. Okay. And I can tell Traverse PC then that I want to work with the other data on my other monitor. So let's expand this back so it takes up the full size here. And I now can have my drawing on an entire monitor and use an entire differently moni different monitor for Kogo or data entry or whatever. And you're going to find that um, you're going to set up the desktop the way you want it. Um, you can save the desktop layout that, that you like. And uh, Traverse BC will uh, use that. Uh, anytime you start Traverse PC, I'm going to just open up a Kogo dialog here real quick. Let's open up an intersect dialog box 
And again, we can see we can just position these anywhere we want on the desktop as we do our computations or enter our data or produce our reports. And, and the last thing kind of to tell you about using Traverse PC is that it's really just Windows. So if I want to edit this north arrow in the drawing view, I simply put the cursor over it. I get a tooltip plus Traverse PC redisplays it in a highlight or accent color. And then like any Windows program, I simply right click, go to properties, and here's everything I want to know about that uh, uh, particular block in this case for the, the north arrow. And I can change it and do whatever I want and then simply choose OK. I think you'll you'll really enjoy uh, jumping in and using the Traverse PC desktop and you'll get a handle very quickly on these views and I think you'll agree with us that the power is in the views that's what makes Traverse PC uh, such a powerful program and we've used these views since we started Traverse PC back in 1987 it's just been a great way to uh, work with survey data